which brushes I use in Procreate. So all of these brushes, first off, have quite different purposes. Some of them are used to shade hair or skin, or some of them are used for line art or lighting. So the first ones I want to show off are these water brushes. There are two types of water brushes, the original and the modified, or water brush one. So you can find these under the calligraphy section, and water pen is the original, and water pen one is actually just a more smoothened variant of the original water pen. In order to make water pen one, you're gonna have to duplicate it, and then you're gonna open it, and you will go to shape, and press edit, and you're going to import source library. Then you're gonna go down and go to this that says hard, the hard circle, of course. Then you press done, and it will basically be replicated at that point. The second ones I want to show are the skin brushes. Sometimes I also use the skin brushes for hair, but the different kinds of brushes I use for skin are the flat brush, which can be found under painting. You can also find the second one, the round brush, under painting as well. Most of these brushes are either under airbrushing or painting, of course, and I also use acrylic once in a while in order to add hair texture or sometimes even some skin texture. This next one is actually a brush under the calligraphy section, which is this brush pen, which has a smoothening effect but the last one over here is the airbrush you can find some the airbrushing and it's the soft brush so it creates a softer texture the last ones I want to show for now are these light brushes I only use these three light brushes for lighting because when I do my this is more for pinpoint lighting when I do more general lighting and shading I prefer to use blending layers and some of the brushes that I previously shown before, such as the flat brush, in order to give it a wider area. So you can find these light brushes under uh, under luminance, and it says light pen. You can click it, and you can test it out, and you can see that it creates a sort of blur effect with white or a lighter version of the color you picked in the middle. These are very useful for really bright highlights and you can pick almost any color with it and it'll always create a lighter variant of the color in the middle so that's what you want to be aware of before using these I prefer to use these brushes for very small highlights on certain areas such as metallic surfaces you can also highlight pretty much anything with these but you have to be really careful with these light brushes because they can get a little bit, they can get a little bit bright or overbearing sometimes. One thing I want to note is that smudging with these colors or brushes is that I use the flat brush typically for smudging. So you can put it up to any size, and this method also creates really good hair textures. If you're doing it right, you can also create a very amount of other effects. But the flat brush isn't the only one I use for my blending. I also use all the brushes from the skin section and I use Nika Roll or I also use the Salamanca brush once in a while. This is not my favorite one, but it comes really in handy when you're doing some sort of leathery or more of a natural texture. And that is it guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful on, on which brushes to use for your videos and your drawings. Well.